Everybody says Guasa is our food, Guasa is our clothes. There's some ownership and some sense, you know. Everybody sense, everybody feels when they think Guasa. Guasa Community Conservation Area is a special uh, protected area in Ethiopia. In many ways, the Guasa conservation efforts are a very conservative kind of uh, cultural relic and also one that's very progressive from an outsider's perspective. The local community has taken ownership of who has access to this place and when. The Guasa itself has been around for hundreds of years as a pseudo-protected area. Uh, there's a long history going back to um, various different legends of its founding. but. In short, it exists as it does because it's very difficult to grow crops at this altitude and at this exposure. And the local community have realized this and kind of set it aside as a community resource that they harvest occasionally. When you conserve the wildlife, you will conserve the habitats. And just when you conserve the habitats, then you will provide some important inputs for the long-term sustainability for the community. I mean, there will be more water, uh, there will be less uh, degradation. But when it is conserved like this, then they can get more benefits. They can take the grass once per two years or three years, and it, it will be more advantage. And it is sustainable, you know, they can use it for, for generations. But if it is open, and if, if they can use it very freely, then everything can be destroyed within a week or two. All things are led by the community and the communities are living together and each community tries to transfer to the next generation so I think uh, Guasa have very very bright future. <laughs> <laughs>